Hey there, I'm Jackie Montgomery, and welcome to 1v1 with Steve Zakawani. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. So, Steve, last season you had limited playing time, obviously, because you're still coming back from that tough injury. How did it feel being an observer versus a participator, and what was, how did that contribute to your growth? Yeah, it was a very different role than I'd been used to. Um, from when I came to this club in 2009 as a rookie, I'd always been used to playing and always been used to you know, being an important player in the team. And so um, when I got injured, someone told me, I think it was Jeff Park or someone who told me that um, the hardest part won't be the, coming back from the injury, will be when you're, you think you're ready, but you're not playing. That'll be the hardest part. And it was because to be on the side sometimes and I wanted to get into games and I, you know, whether people thought I wasn't ready or you know, the team had a certain direction and stuff, that was different, different role but it made me more of a team player in a sense where I had to still learn how to want the team to do well even if I'm not playing you know because um, it's easy when you're playing every week and you know you'll be in the team and to enjoy it. but when you're not involved it's different so it just gave me a different perspective on the team and um, I still feel that um, you know I was getting better in training and getting better as a teammate and stuff and then eventually towards the end of the season it was a case of um, all about the playoffs, just trying to win as much as we could. And it wasn't about who's playing, who's not playing. It was about trying to win. And I learned to accept that last year. Yeah. Being with the team from the beginning and watching them make this historic run in the playoffs, did that make it any more difficult? Yeah, 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 it was. Because, yeah, because um, my whole goal last year was to come back and get my fitness back and then get back to my level. And it came to a point where I felt I did that. Like, um, just by, I knew myself. and. During training, I was doing things I'm like, oh, I could do this before, I can do this again. But then I wasn't seeing the same playing time as I did before. And that's not easy, of course, um, it's tough to do. But um, you want to be a part of it. You want to be as much involved as you can. But like I said, as it went along, I learned uh, that, you know, this is the way sometimes it goes. And you've got to be patient and just keep doing what you can and um, support the team, be a good teammate. And that's what I did in the end. Yeah. Over the last few months, what have you been doing to help prepare yourself for this coming season? Yeah, you know, last season when I came in, as hard as I worked in my rehabilitation, as hard as I did in training, I was always at a deficit. No matter what I did, I would always be behind because I just hadn't played for so long. And so this off season, after we played a game against LA, I never forget, you know, that, that game for me was like my final um, confirmation that, you know, I can still do this at a high level. And that was good for my confidence. And so I went away in the off season and normally where I would take maybe two, three weeks off completely, I didn't do that. I took that week off the LA off and since then I've been working out, doing fitness work and getting myself to a base where when I come back into training camp this year, I am not at a deficit, I'm fit enough. And knowing that it's only five weeks training camp, I need to be ready to go. And so I did a lot of work with Dave Tenney before I went on my vacations, even on vacation, he would make sure to email me what today's workout was and stuff, and I did it. I did a lot. I really pushed myself harder than I've ever done before in my career in the off-season, and I've come back and I'm as fit, fitter than before. Like I'm in the best shape I've been in ever, and that's from that work. So I did it because I knew I had to put that kind of work in. It sounds like the confidence is there. Do you think that's going to translate onto the pitch when it comes to yeah. game time? Yeah, hundred percent. Like I feel in a good place because um, I just I'm just ready to play. I've not played <laughs> I've not played much football in the last two seasons. Um, I played six games, had an injury, came back, played about eight games. I mean, that's not much football for um, two seasons. So I'm ready to go. Like I've been counting down the days until the game, and I'm just ready. Like I'm enjoying training, I'm enjoying myself, and just being around the ball again. Obviously, still finding my way again after being away for so long, but I'm ready to play. I think it's something where um, my confidence is back, but also I understand now that um, you know the career is maybe not as long as I thought it would be. Like I, I would come in at my rookie year and I could train three, four days in a row, no problem. Now after two days, I'm, feel, <laughs> I'm feeling my age a bit, so like I'm beginning to appreciate a bit more, yeah. Ziggy has said in the past that 2013 is going to be your year, and right now he's just saying how excited he is to see you so healthy and so optimistic about this upcoming season. What does that do for your mindset? It's good. You always want a coach who believes in you, a coach who um, sees you playing a big role in his team. And, um, you know, like I, one thing I always have with Ziggy is that um, I know that Ziggy saw me play when I was still in college, for example. And then when I went to the MLS combine, I had a horrible combine because I went home that <laughs> off season, didn't do anything, came in out of shape and whatever. But I still ended up being picked by Seattle, number one, because Ziggy had seen me in college before. So even when I'm here in Seattle, he's seen me enough every day to know what I can do. So I don't have to try to do anything new for him. And when I have that kind of confidence and um, track history with um, the coach, it helps me for sure. And um, it's something where you always want to um, repay 
you know, the confidence of Ziggy and Brian Schmetzer and all the coaches, you know, and so I try to do that. But um, I'm at this point just happy to be healthy. I think, you know, not everybody can tell you I'm just, I'm, I'm happy. Like I just, <laughs> I remember how it was last year, it was a nightmare. So I'm just happy to be playing football again, yeah. With the start of the season just a few weeks away, what personal goals do you have set for yourself? Um, my goal, you know, of course, is I want to stay healthy throughout the whole year. That's my first one, um, in a sense. And what I mean by that is um, I can't control some of the tackles that come, but like I'm taking care of my body better. Like I hate the ice tub. I've never done it, but like, this year I know I need to do it after games because um, it's going to help my recovery. Like those more stretching, um, more massages, everything I can do to make sure my body's in shape, I'm going to do because once I'm healthy, then I can be on the field and help the team. And so in terms of production, I never really said I want five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goals, anything like that. I just think um, I want to be able to give, walk off the pitch after every game, knowing I gave everything I had. And after we played the playoff game against LA, I kind of went to a new level in my own mind because I had a motivation I've never really had before in my career. I found this different kind of motivation that you can't do that for 34 games straight. It's hard, but um, I need to try and always get to that place where it's just like, you know, I need to put it in for 90 minutes and come off the pitch knowing I put work in. And so that's my goal. My goal is to leave every game, leave everything on the field, and then the byproduct will be goals and assists and the team winning eventually. So that's kind of like where my mind's at. All right. Well, it sounds like Steve has March 2nd circled on his calendar, the first time the Sounders take to the pitch for their first game of the season, and we hope you do too. And of course, keep it logged on to soundersfc.com for more 1v1 interviews. Thanks. Tanzania, the land of Kilimanjaro, Zanzibar, and the Serengeti. 